Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Furutech. So one month before, we in-depthly reviewed the new Oxygen OS 14 EX01 version 600 along with its battery result. But one day before, OnePlus started the new series of updates for OnePlus 9RT. It is the X01U90P00. This is a small update of just 75 MB with the small change log. But today we are not just going to review the change log but we will check its performance which is seems improved a lot. We will see the test sampling rate of this update with the PGMI gaming performance and finally we have given some comments on the battery performance of this update. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. So our flashing of this new update is completed, let's jump to the about device details to check if there are any new changes we find. About the Oxonos details showing the newly upgraded version of Oxonos 14 EX01 U90P00. We can also check the new change log of this update here. Android version option showing it's the same Android 14 bit with the same security patch of April 2024 like last build. I genuinely surprised here because security patch is still old. Version information showing this is the same new 600 build with the new series of EX01U90P00. Kernel version is same like old build. Now new information added by the developers here is called as the software OT version aka SOTA. Here it is showing this is the U90P00 BRP1 EX01. Now let's check out some change log details here. New feature was improved in this build is the extract content from the screenshot. Where the text and images now accurately detected by the system. We can save these pictures or can save them in the file doc for the future purpose. Extracted text can be easily saved by share option to the notes application or anywhere we want. Developer also improved the time and the date localization in the notes application and the date synchronization with the system language and the region setting. New Oxonos comes with the new alarm feature for the shift workers. In the clock application, new work days option is available. We can edit the custom work schedule here as per our working days. And we can add the different alarms for the different days as per our work shift. This is really helpful for adding the multiple shift alarms in the advance for the different working days. Now let's move to the performance part of this update. As I already mentioned in the intro, I felt this build is truly smooth and highly touch responsive while using day to day activities. It's not a huge performance uplift but you may feel slight improvement of performance in this build as compared to the previous one. We will check the numerical difference of the performance while running the Geekbench test without the performance mode enabled and we will compare it with the old build. So in the first CPU test we got the score of 1207 and 3292 for the single and multi core respectively. If you compare this score with the old build, the old build has the score of 1256 and 3223. So both the old and the new build has nearly same score without much difference. Similarly for the open gel we got the score of 4358 and for the old build it was 4356. This one is also same here. But for the Vulcan, new build has the score of 4372 while old build has the score of 4786. Here you can check the huge difference in the old build and the new build. But it's not a deal breaking, you can't even feel any performance drop in this build even while running the CPU intensive games like BGMI. The sampling rate of this build is same like all the other Oxono subjects, it's maximum 125Hz all the time. When I played the BGMI in this new build, it ran very smooth with the very good graphics. There is no lag whatsoever I felt. But if you are thinking OnePlus added the 90 FPS for this game, then still it's not. It's the same like old 60 constant FPS for the pro gamer mode. But the games are so optimized with the OnePlus gaming mode that I don't think you need that high refresh rate for playing any game in this new update. Next, if you ask about the battery performance, I just installed this build yesterday so I can't immediately give you the final verdict about the battery performance. But I think as the old V600 
build has very good battery performance so this one also helps to add more efficient battery performance so let's check out and i will post the battery results after two to three days of battery cycle so that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications so for upcoming content for oneplus 9rt until then thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye